Hello, in this dot programming video, I am going to show you lambda functions. So lambda functions are a very sort of simple, concise way to represent functions. They're also known as arrow functions. So if we create a lambda function here, and I'll call it, and I'm going to call it epic, and you just put epic like that, you put this equals greater than, that's hence why it's called arrow function, and then you put some your code you want to execute. So it's almost like an, an inline, one-line function, kind of. And if I were to just do a print here. So if I print, we are epic. We are epic. And now, to call that method, you just call it in the normal way, epic, like so. If I run it, we'll get we are epic. And that's really it for Lambda functions. If you want to be able to return a value, you just put like the, the, the data type that you're returning. So string, for example, it could be any data type. And let's uh, call it epic return. And I am going to return, no, I'll, I'll return a string. So I'll return hi. And if I was to do string, res equals epic return print res yeah hi even though we haven't put the return statement the dart compiler knows if we've got a data type here then whatever we have after here we are returning so that's it for lambda functions what I want you to do as an extra task is create a Lambda function where you could pass values in. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.